Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Welcome, viewers, to this day devotion. 28th April, Tuesday, 2020. And our test is taken from Acts chapter 3, 11 to 16. The topic for the day is faith in the powerful name of Jesus. Faith in the powerful name of Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the entrance of your word gives light and understanding to the simple. Give us that, this understanding and help us, O oh Lord, to do your will always. In Jesus' name, Amen. The text Acts chapter 3, 11 to 16. Now, as the lame man who was healed, held on to Peter and John. All the people ran together to them in the porch, which is called Solomon's, greatly amazed. So when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, Men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why look so intently at us as though by our own power or godliness we had made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorify the servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied. He was determined to let him go. But you denied the Holy One and the just and asked for a murderer for, to be granted to you and killed the Prince of Life, whom God raised from the dead, of which we are witnesses and his name through faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know yes the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all this is the word of the lord thanks be to god Today we are looking at faith in the powerful name of Jesus. I imagine the joy, the radiance, the great happiness, the man that never walked before, the lame man, so happy and joyful that the Bible records that he held on to Peter and John. The man in his life, he may not have had hope that one day he will walk. The miracle was inexplainable and beyond his wildest dream and imagination. And here you see him holding on to Peter and John. Before then, people will be marveling and people will be wondering what happened. Can it be him or is it not him? How is he walking? What made him to walk? But as he held on to Peter and John, the Bible records that all the people ran together to them in the porch. The people saw and believed that it was through Peter and John that this healing came to this man. As the crowd gathered, Peter responded, Men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why look so intently at us, at us as though by our own power or godliness we made this man to walk? Let's draw a few lessons from here as we look at that faith in the name of Jesus. The God we are serving is God of great wonders. And I so much believe he's still in the business of making people whole, supplying the needs of people, healing people, doing great wonders. And he's still using us, one way or the other. Do you notice here that when that lame man held on to Peter and John, people ran towards Peter and John in amazement, in wonder, what manner of men are these? People of God. This same God that did this in the time past is still in the business of healing. He's still in the business of doing great wonders. But there is a problem. As they held Peter and John, 
before the issue or before the problem, as they help Peter and John, the people ran towards them. But Peter spoke, redirected the people to the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, this Jesus you crucified and denied made this man who? There was serious redirection. Don't look at us, not by our own power or godliness, but there is a source of this ceiling. There is a place, there is a person that made this man who, not us. We are in a generation and in a dispensation where one way or the other God uses us. We will do one, have a one encounter or the other, one miracle or the other, and God do use us. Do you notice that this generation, people are so much holding on us. People so much hold on us. People attribute great titles. And we never direct them to Christ. It's a point where we need to repent. If we actually want to exercise this faith in the Lord Jesus. And let the people know the true source of power. That it's not about us, but it's about Jesus. He said, why do you look at us? It's not by our own power. May we, in this dispensation, not attracting people to us. We are in this era where they were called, we are being called great names, great man of God. Yeah, that's not, it's not wrong. There's no bad thing about that. But when they call you these names, when they attribute those great titles to you, you do you redirect them to Christ? We are in an era where, yes, we will tell them, if not the great anointing that I carry, if not that I fasted for 10 days, if not that I exercise great spiritual uh, energy in reading the Bible, this thing could not have been done. But it was not so for Peter and John. If Peter and John could have, if it is in this dispensation, and they would have told them, uh, do you know what it means to be with Jesus for three and a half years? Do you know what it means to walk in the Garden of Gethsemane with Jesus? So don't be surprised, we are carriers of great anointing. No, he said no. You don't look at us. Don't marvel. Don't look into us as if it's by our own power. May we recognize the fact that whatever we do here on earth, and however God is using us, providing the needs of the people, touching lives, it's not about us. It's about God. It's about Jesus. And when Peter said that, he used the opportunity again to tell them, this Jesus you people crucified, this Jesus you denied, did these great wonders. Do we use the opportunity the Lord gives us to dish out the word of the Lord? Do we use the opportunity the Lord has given us here on earth that as we see him manifest in one way or the other through our lives, do we utilize the opportunity to tell people about this great gospel, this Jesus that saved? And that's what Peter did there. He said, you people killed the Prince of Peace, but God raised him. And it is in his name, through faith, in his name has made this man who, people of God, this Jesus is still alive. This Jesus is still doing wonders. He said in his name. It's not just about his name, but faith in his name. We are calling upon the name of Jesus these days. We see people shout Jesus, 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 and yet we don't see things happening. We are in an era where we call upon the name of Jesus, yet we have several options, but let's fulfill all righteousness. Let my pastor, let my reverend, let my bishop not disturb me. I'll keep on calling the name of Jesus, but I have option A, option B. How can the name work? It will not work. He says the true faith in his name. So the channel to see the miraculous, the channel to exercise this faith in the powerful name of Jesus is true. To exercise this power in the powerful name of Jesus is true faith. Faith is the channel to bring the glorious experience of what these people experienced in this passage. The glorious experience that we look for. I don't know what you are passing through. Maybe depressed discomforted, you are not happy, you, you, you are sick. I want to tell you that there is a name that supersedes all other names, and at his name, every name was bad. We need to believe in him. The Bible made us to understand that they that come unto God must believe that he is. Do we believe that he is? He's the reward of those that diligently seek him. He is, and when you seek him, you will find him. People of God, that name still works. Faith in his name still works. We need to exercise that faith. 
you can lay hands upon that place that is so much disturbing you and call upon the name of Jesus and see God do wonders. It's not just about, he said, why do you marvel? I so much love that statement. So this thing we did, you can do it. Why do you marvel? It's not about us. It's about the name that we so much believed in that can do wonders. Why do you marvel? We must have been seeing people doing great things for the Lord. People of God, I want to tell you, you can do so. The Lord can use you. You can be a channel to exercise that power in his name. You can be a channel to bring succor, to bring relief, to bring healing to your family, to your loved ones. As we do that and trust him, he will honor his name and glorify his name greatly. May the Lord help us and perfect that which concerns us. And the Lord will see us through in this era and in this dispensation through the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, help us to exercise faith in your name over the problems and situations around us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. 